So, hello, it's Akasha and Marie. Today is Tuesday, 21st August 2018. And yes, I have an idea now. That's why I'm using this cutie avatar, you see, this ET. And as I am connected so strong to interdimensional structures, and I want to start sharing some articles which I wrote long, long time ago. Everything happened with me in Tuscany. I moved there in this house in 2004 and yeah and then from 2005 and 6 and so on a lot of a lot of uh, very weird things happened to me okay mm, yeah i have now my um papers here because i printed my posts. First of all, I had to translate everything in English because my original blog was written in Italian language. And so I did it in German and also in English. So I just want to start with the very first article, which is part of my blog, and it's called Inspiration. Why? Why was everything created? Creation of the Golden Age. Raising up altogether our consciousness and frequencies of the cosmic heart. We are much more than our chemical container, the physical body or the avatar. Everything that exists is energy and consciousness. Every thought, every emotion, every word, every object, every color, every sound, every smell, etc. The only tragedy is that the human race has not yet become aware, despite signs of all levels in environmental, social, economic, personal and other levels. But thanks, the cosmic alignment, energy and light is increasing on our planet and it is profoundly changing our lives. If we want it or not, if we are conscious or not conscious, let us open our hearts and enter together into the vibrations of the universe and Mother Earth. Finally, let's come together as one. Mwah. Okay, now, um, what else, yes, um, okay, now the article about the Cosmic Galactic Codes. Cosmic Galactic Codes will be transmitted by me, Akasha and Marie, and simultaneously release your innate knowledge. The certainty that you are a starseed from all parts of this galaxy and universes, and that you carry different energies from the entire galaxy in you. The Cosmic Galactic Codes that will be transmitted to you by me in these messages will lead you to the innate place of knowledge place of certainty about where you have been, what you have done and how you have come to be part on planet Earth. The cosmic galactic cones are innate in your cellular structure and open the truth to your soul, star families, etc. It will not be unlocked all at once, only as much as it is right for you in this very moment. The information through the Cosmic Galactic Codes will be revealed over time and it will happen in different ways. 
you will start seeing things or hear things. You will receive the information through dreams or you will have spontaneous memories and you will know that everything is real. As time passes, the transmission of cosmic electric codes will make you more and more clairvoyant, clairaudient and your ability to telepathy and intuition will increase even more. However, love is the answer no matter the question and this must be confirmed at a cellular level. Please listen attentively to the codes. The human mind cannot understand, but you should listen with your heart. It works. In the deepest cell structure, it transforms from low frequencies to higher frequencies. There will never be any kind of translation in a human language. These specific frequencies work on the heart, molecules and cells. And I want to add now, as I was reading now my post, that some people uh, start to interact when I'm doing the codes and they want to know what I'm saying. Right? And even some, some people ask me, where am I from? So for me that is not important. Because I don't want to put any anything or anybody again in a box. Yeah? This is absolutely free flow, freestyle, and as I told you, this cosmic galactic codes is not this usually kind of light language because I mean light languages I know they also people try then to, to translate them. But I know for sure that these cosmic electric codes which are given to me will never be translated. You just have to open up your heart and start perceiving, feeling what is the transmission. And that's the only way. Okay, now, okay, now this is the holographic mind. Holographic mind! Uh, was a real experience <laughs> because I woke up in the morning and I could feel my brain was like the picture on I posted on my blog. It's like an elevator with different kind of codes. And so my brain was really becoming very huge, very tall. And this was then the information that was given to me. And it was funny because it was given to me in English. I don't know why. So... And then from English, I had to translate it in Italian language and then in German language. Okay, so this is the holographic mind or also the galactic mind, galactic brain. So imagine that this is my holographic brain connecting to galactic communications. In the last few days, I was in a steadily galactic communication and through my system were running a lot of codes, sounds and languages. The human race actually is still connected to the etheric programs installed of the old matrix to take them under control. Okay, this is the timeline which was hijacked and controlled and manipulated. Now the galactic communications start to destroy all the etheric programs, especially that ones which reside in the third eye to give pictures producing emotions of lack, suffering and destruction and fear. The Matrix and their creators nourished themselves through that, giving them power. So they are subtracting of every human being the life forces, the vital energy. That's why when I start measuring people before and after a session, I can see the frequency of the etheric body, how much is the bovis. And, I mean, if I take a piece of meat, which is dead, it is uh, 2,500 uh, two, uh, and 3,000 bovis. And if I also can see if a person is totally possessed or by negative um, mind control or even entities. So, I mean, I can see everything and I can feel everything. Just, I started with this um, measuring of the bovis only last year because before I had no connection for this stuff. I had a friend in Italy, Roberto, which I made a session a long time ago because I was doing like kind of um, 
light body activation and cosmic tantra sessions and there was a kundalini awakening and etc etc and he started afterwards um, messing up his life he took his wife with him and the whole family and he started measuring the bovis unit so this was a shortcut now okay let's go ahead but now it's definitely over and the freedom of all human race is already in action my system and holographic mind already settled a new matrix as a new etheric grid. The color of the grid is gold, orange and yellow. Me and other multidimensional beings are now sustaining the project together, challenging the new matrix 24 hours per 7 days. Well, the energies are still pushing and shifting the new, coming through us in our human body expression. That's why we are steadily under great pressure. We are here to sustain all the galactic project to install the galactic codes on planet Earth. Through the galactic communications, all the old patterns are getting destroyed in every cell, molecule, atom and subatomic particle. Simultaneously, all the new patterns are coming through. So I can see an exchange of cell information in a living structure here on Earth. Almost I can see the new energy field in gold, orange and pink color as I'm living in the beautiful countryside of Tuscany and really enjoy the new earth. It is here and now. I'm incorporating day by day all the new galactic codes creating the new matrix of golden light, freedom of golden light, freedom, universal love, abundance and joy. The breakthrough is already on his trip. One way ticket to love, oneness and beauty. Actually, an awesome cleansing is running through everybody. Take rest and stay in stillness to feel the beautiful changes in your systems, body, mind, spirit and soul. Reprogramming is occurring. Hallelujah! The place I was living was called Luya. And so I made Hallelujah because I made such beautiful and... Uh, transcendent experience in Tuscany, which I can't even explain with words. I love you, I love you, I love you all, and now I'm so happy the breakthrough is happening, and even more people now are open up to this kind of new energy, and that is the most precious gift for me. I was waiting so long, so long, and now it's becoming real. It's becoming real because now it becomes visible. It becomes visible and more tangible for everybody in the physical matter. And the physical matter is changing now. Okay, and now last but not least, this is also a very beautiful <coughs> article. And my friend Fonda, she always, when she was down and she listened so many times to this um message and you can find it even in on the channel you you scroll down because there are so many videos okay most of them are in german but i did some translation in english and even you can go to this blog my blog where you can find all the articles even as an audio or written on yes on my uh, english blog and even in italian okay now this is we from beyond or we from the hyperspace. We from beyond are evolved souls of another system, planets or galaxies. Our specific missions are to help the earth and humankind help through the shift from the third to the fifth dimension. We are individuals who have the certainty to come from beyond, from the hyperspace. We experience the pain and polarity of the human race, but unlike these, we have the feeling of being alien on this planet. We find the behavior and motives of our societies embarrassing and illogical. We from the beyond are often re reluctant to be implicated in the institutions of society, for example in health, politics, economics, etc. Even at a young age, we tend to expose the hidden misdeeds of such conventions with unusual clarity. We from beyond are embodied in the same states of need as the earthlings.
but we, from beyond, have a total amnesia regarding our identity, origin and purpose of helping human beings. However, our genes were created with a wake-up call that activates at a predetermined time in our lives. The awakening can be mild and gradual, or quite dramatic and abrupt. In one or the other event, memory is restored in the upper vibration degrees, allowing us to become aware of our missions. Our links to our original tribes are also strengthened, allowing us to largely be guided by their internal language. Many of us know how to reset karma. We can eliminate, in some years, the negative models, fears, as we as well as the limitations of behavior that humans on the earth instead would take decades to succeed. This is because we have been in similar missions on other systems and we are quite acquainted with the procedures and techniques to increase frequencies and consciousness. The concepts of spaceships, galactic federations and various psychic phenomena and sentient life forms in other galaxies are natural and logical to us. Because our mission is more difficult to carry on in a very dense dimension like the Earth. We are very much admired in our galaxy. Only a few beings would voluntarily accept it to do such work with the risk of forgetting who we truly are and losing our connection with higher self and source. Although we are a very small percentage of the terrestrial population, our mission is large and varied. Above all, we must cross the physical life and try to remember who we truly are. When we make that connection, we from beyond are ready to start a process of transformation and mutation to become whole. From that very moment, we are in constant concentration and connection with our higher self, multidimensional aspects and source. Once we from beyond realize who we are, we can begin to help the souls of this planet. This planet cannot survive without cosmic divine intervention. We provide the missing link in the we are, we are providing the missing link. For, um, the missing link for the galactic human. No, no. Fulfilling of the galactic cycle between the federations and the spiritual hierarchies who are working constantly to help our planet. We are still holding the light photons at high frequencies. We meditate sending energy to the situations that need to be changed for the good of all. And the message was for us Go and hide among the common men and stand at their laws until the day of our return. Well, and at that stage, I want to advise, if you are really interested to book a session with the Cosmic Galactic Codes, and furthermore, if you want other details about your um, st star seed, star seedology, which I really recommend. Cosmic Christie, Cosmic Christie and her channel, right? So, if you want to put the puzzle all together, book a session with her, and you will have other illumination about your heritage, your cosmic galactic hyperspace origin. Okay, I think this was a good idea. It came to me and as usual I'm so spontaneous. I'm not never ever prepared to do a video or an audio. But I love this cutie, cutie avatar so much while I'm recording. And I see he's moving his mouth and his eyes. And stay tuned. Stay in love. Stay in bliss. Stay in joy. And more 
you challenge yourself with these high frequencies and lifting up, lifting up every day your frequencies, the better it is for all of us. And sometimes, if you feel down and you have to stay and rest, as I did it most of my lifetime, well, this is a good price. In the end, it's worth. I know now exactly why I had to do this. And I want to share it with all of you. Okay. Love you. Bye.